Welcome to the latest edition of Inside Carolina. I'm your host, Hannah Horn, a proud alumna of the university. With September and an exciting time here at the university, as we have just welcomed the largest freshman class in university history. There are more than 7,000 new students on campus this fall, and they are already getting a taste of what it means to have the best first year experience in the nation. And what's one of the first things students do after, of course, settling into their rooms and starting classes? You know what I'm talking about. It's football season. So let's head to Charlotte, where the Gamecocks kicked off their season, and meet some former students and forever Gamecocks who now call the Queen City home. Let's go inside Carolina. We just left one horseshoe and now we're at another. The horseshoe in Charlotte South End is a special place where Gamecocks can meet, network, and cheer on their favorite team, the Gamecocks, of course. We met up with some Carolina alumni who are making a real impact in Charlotte. James, welcome to Inside Carolina. Thanks so much for being here. What a cool place you have here in the Charlotte Horseshoe in the South End area of Charlotte. Tell me about how this became and what kind of parties and get togethers you have here for other Gamecocks. Well, welcome to Charlotte, South Carolina. This bar is called the Horseshoe. We have so many Gamecocks in town. We've had regular football and basketball and baseball viewing parties over the years. And finally, we've got enough investors to come together and create a place specifically just for us in South End. How strong is the camaraderie within the Gamecock community here in Charlotte? Mm, it's special. I mean, in Charlotte, um, everywhere you're walking, you see Carolina or Gamecocks and- The other Carolina. The other, yeah, yeah the, real the real Carolina. Carolina. There we go, the real Carolina, exactly. Um, but it's great to see that garnet and black all over the city. And, you know, it's great to have events here and where you see everybody concentrating in one area. Um, it makes you feel like you're at home. Tell me about what happens here with the Gamecock, the Charlotte Gamecocks. Well, we have lots of events. Obviously, you're in this beautiful new bar that we have called the Horseshoe that we're super proud of. And we just help people network. When I moved to Charlotte, I saw we had this Charlotte Gamecock Club and I signed up to volunteer for a golf tournament and have been here ever since. When we uh, entered the Horseshoe earlier, the, the restaurant bar that we're in right now, someone welcomed us and said, welcome to Charlotte, South Carolina. <laughs> Is that really a thing you say here? It's a thing, yeah. I mean, I'm born in Charlotte, so like, you know, my family would probably say something different mm -hmm. um, being born and raised here. But yes, I mean, there's so many Gamecocks and some people from South Carolina here in Charlotte. It, it is Charlotte, South Carolina. It's, it's our second home. What has being a part of the Charlotte Gamecocks and really leading the Charlotte Gamecocks brought to, into your life? I have met people of from all ages. I've met people that have graduated in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, also all the way to recent graduates as well. So we've made a significant effort over the years having regular events bringing that those people together. So if you want to get plugged in socially, we're going to help you. If you want to help from a charitable standpoint, whether it's donating your time, your talent, or just money, we can help with that. If you're looking for a new career, that's something that we can offer you. And we tell people as well, if you're looking for that significant other, come to an event because you might meet another Gamecock as well. The, this really big football game that we just had, um, tell me about what it means to have so many Gamecock friends and family and other alums fans who are here in your city celebrating our Gamecocks. It's special, it's special. So like I said, it makes you feel at home and we're excited for continuing a great season. Oh, big Go Gamecocks in the city of Charlotte. That's right, Go Gamecocks. Talking to those Gamecocks, you can really feel the excitement and that same excitement poured over into the South Carolina versus North Carolina matchup here at Bank of America Stadium. Thousands of Gamecocks made their way to Charlotte for the kickoff of the football season against UNC on September 2nd, and they far outnumbered Tar Heels at Bank of America Stadium. ESPN Game Day was on hand to capture the excitement, and there was plenty of it. There were some bright moments for the Gamecocks, including Spencer Rattler throwing for 353 yards. But unfortunately, at the end of the day, the Gamecocks fell short. A tough loss, but one that Coach Beamer and his team will work hard to bounce back from. That first game of the season was here at Bank of America Stadium back on September 2nd. And you know what else happens here? Well, the Carolina Panthers play here. We caught up with the Gamecock alum, Alex Grant, who's a digital video manager for the Panthers. Alex, thanks so much for joining us. Tell me a little bit about your time at South Carolina. 
Absolutely loved my time in Columbia and in South Carolina. Was a broadcast journalism major, political science minor. Um, was there when the new J School building opened up. We were one of the first senior semester classes to use that studio in that space. Um, also had the opportunity to intern in Gamecock Athletics while I was there. And so kind of got the dual experience of the classroom stuff as well as getting the internship experience of you know the day-to-day -day grind of working in sports. When I graduated, didn't have anything lined up yet. And my old boss hit me up and said, hey, if you're still in Columbia, still in town, come work for us. And um, came and did football season, picked up women's basketball that year and went to, um, with women's basketball to the postseason, ended up winning a national championship and got a full-time job offer after that. So Carolina really was like that support system for me when, you know, I didn't have anything lined up. It gave me the opportunity that's turned into what to, what this is today. So always grateful for my time there. And it's my understanding that you're not alone as a Gamecock here. Are there <laughs> other Gamecocks that are on the Panthers media and other team? Yeah. Other than the football team, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, there's definitely Gamecock alums all over this place. Um, just left a meeting with some people that went to South Carolina. We've got people in sponsorship, people in operations. There's people all over the place that have ties to Columbia and have ties to USC. And so it's really cool sometimes. Like my first, when I first got here and got started getting into meetings and meeting people, it was like, oh, okay, we were at South Carolina together at the same time, or, oh, we were interns together in athletics at the same time. So that's always awesome. Take me back to the days when uh, you were you were walking up that hill, going to class every day. <laughs> Remember that hill? The yeah, hill. The hill. Walking up that hill, going to class every day. How did what you learned in the J School and in your other classes and amongst your peer group prepare you for the role you're in now? Carolina gave us a firm foundation of what to expect when you get into the industry. Um, our professors held us to deadlines. Our professors put us in real world situations. Our professors treated us like professionals. And so that when we got into the real world, this wasn't anything new to us. I think just the standard that we were all held to in the journalism school is the one thing that you can see just across the board. People come out of Carolina being professionals and they're ready for whatever's next. We have a, a t-shirt um, that we wear, uh, it says, Gamecocks on Saturday, Panthers on Sunday. We actually have that t-shirt at home. So can I get you to say your, your biggest, most robust, go Gamecocks. Go Gamecocks. Thanks for joining us. We are so proud of our Charlotte Gamecocks. Thanks for hosting us in your city. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to share it with your friends, fellow alumni, and family. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next month inside Carolina.